Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Mel again and I thought I would do this really cool video to share with you some really cool stuff that I found out at the Body Shop event on Wednesday. Uh, so I'm filming this, today is a Friday, Friday is a lazy day for me, I don't have work till this evening which is why I'm still wearing my pyjamas. Um, they're actually like my Benyon pyjamas from when I was at Reading. Um, so yeah. Excuse the fact that I'm still in my pyjamas. I have put makeup on, but, you know, we're just, we're going with it. Um, so, Wednesday I was invited to a VIP body shop event in the Brighton body shop store. And, basically, when we arrived there, we were given Prosecco, some nibbles, like some biscuits and things. And we had the chance to sort of mill around and look around the shop. Um, it was after hours, so it was just for VIP people. Um, I don't know what made me classify as a VIP probably because I tend to spend a lot of money in the body shop but um, yeah so I took my good friend Annie along with me and we had a fun time um, then there was a little chat about what the body shop represent uh, some of their new products that they're bringing out and also uh, trying to convince us to sign up for the petition against animal cruelty and testing, anim uh, testing makeup on animals which I've already signed um, and you guys should totally sign it too because there's literally no need for cosmetics to be tested on animals nowadays. We are way beyond that. Um, so one of the things that they actually advertise to us is this new product which is a body yoghurt. Now the body shop, the first thing that they brought out was their body butters. And their body butters are fantastic, they're really moisturising, they come in all the different flavours and scents. Um, I'm going to refer to them as flavours because that's what the people in the shop were referring them to, even though you can't eat them, but, you know, uh, it just, for consistency, I'm just going to keep calling them flavours. So they've brought out this new body yoghurt. Um, it's 100% vegan. It is made with almond milk. It's a lighter... Um, wetter consistency to the body butters but it means that it spreads further along your skin and it's also supposedly um, gives you a longer hydration than the body butters would normally do and they had five or six different scents on the table uh, different flavours on the table when we got there they had uh, almond, ma almond milk and honey um, mango coconut British rose what else did they have? Uh, and a couple of more, and I think they were going to bring out that, is it mar Moringa? Moringa? That flower, it's kind, of, it kind of looks like a jasmine flower. Um, they're going to bring that out in that as well. And I purchased some. I got the British Rose, um, because I don't think I've got much in British Rose at the moment, and I just thought it'd be nice to try it. So, yeah, you get a, a tub like this. It's 198 grams, uh, but I imagine this is going to last quite a long time, and I think the retail price for it is going to be £8, I believe. So if I sort of do a close-up, you can sort of see it's very liquidy. It's really sort of splooshy. Look at it jiggle. Um, and yeah, so it's a lot wetter consistency than the body butters are. And I now can't put it anywhere because I've got biscuits on the side. Um, and it's like, oh, it is a lot. It's a lot wetter, but it supposedly dries a lot quicker than the body butters do. And I'm gonna not edit this clip, and I'm gonna tell you right now that that is completely that little bit that I just put on my finger is completely absorbed into my skin already. It's completely dry. I would be more than happy to put a jumper on or you know, change my t-shirt or something without worrying about getting moisturiser everywhere. It smells so good. I love the British Rose scent. I think when they come out in store, I might go back and get the coconut one or the almond milk and honey because that's really, really nice as well. Um, and the almond milk and honey one's really good for uh, sensitive skin. It does say on the back here, 48 hour moisturising, instantly absorbing, which I'd say is pretty accurate, and non-sticky gel cream can be applied on damp skin after your shower for all skin types so it's obviously made for sensitive skin as well which I thought was pretty damn awesome and because the body shop kindly offered us 30% off in store 
I also bought a few other things. So I thought I'd share with it, you with it and do like a mini haul. So there's my bag. The first thing I got is the blueberry scent. I love the blueberry scent and they only ever have it in the sales. So I very kindly asked them to go check their stock room and they did that for me. Um, this is the exfoliating gel body scrub in blueberry, obviously. And it's so gorgeous. It's really rich. It's got bits in it. Um, if you've got sensitive skin, like using the body scrubs can make it a bit sore, like the sugar scrubs especially, but I've, I've got really sensitive skin and I find that if I rub it in between my fingers first and then exfoliate rather than putting it just onto my skin, it seems to break down the little particles a bit more and then it, it's not as vicious on your skin. Uh, so yeah, I got this, I love this and it'll last me forever. Um, I also saw that they had the banana hair mask when I was in there and although it was really sweet smelling, reminded me of those like banana foam sweets that you can get as a kid, um, I didn't really fancy putting in my hair so I asked them very kindly if they could go upstairs and asked them very kindly if they could go upstairs and see if they had any more hair masks and they had this rainforest moisture hair butter for dry hair. Uh, so this has got a load of different oils in it and fair trade honey. Uh, so, you know, it's not vegan friendly, but unless you're a vegan that eats honey, but we use this honey. It smells amazing. It smells like a mixture of, like, argan oil and honey together. Um, and I'm really looking forward to trying that for my hair because the ends of my hair where they've got blonde bits in them um, it does tend to go a little bit dry it's quite funny the top of my hair is really greasy and the bottom of my hair is really dry so trying to buy products for my hair is quite difficult the next thing I got was one of their face masks face masks because I have one already and I really want to try another one and I saw this uh, flavor which I hadn't seen before this is the body shop Amazonian is it Akai or Asai Someone tell me how to say it down below. Um, it's the Energizing Radiance Mask, which fights the appearance of fatigue, invigorates and boosts radiance. So these are normally £17, but with 70, uh, with 30% off, I think it makes it go down to like £11 something, doesn't it? Um, and this has got a seal on it. I'm going to lift it up and it looks like jam genuinely like jam. They had a deal on at the moment where if you bought two um, masks you got a face mask brush for free which I thought was a really good deal but obviously I've already got the uh, Japanese matcha one here and you know I don't really need to spend another £10 on another load of face masks when I haven't used up that one yet. So that's those three that I got. The other thing that I bought was I bought the illuminating drops of glow for face eyes and lips and I saw these and I thought uh, I just thought they were really Instagrammable <laughs> um, so it comes with a little dropper um, and I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand so you can see what they do uh, so there is some there and let's just so it leaves like a wet look shine Oh, can you see in the camera? Yes, 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 you can see. Wow, look at that. So it's like a wet look shine. Um, on the back of here, these are also 100% vegan and suitable for sensitive skin. Can be used alone as a highlighter on a bare face or a top up of makeup. Mix into your usual amount of foundation for a lustrous finish. Dab on top of lipstick for a shimmer finish. Dab on top of eyeshadow for a shimmer finish. When used with foundation, the overall sun protection of your foundation may be something because it then stops and doesn't read anymore. Great. Okay, but anyway, you can put it on your skin as a highlight. Should we, use, should we put it a little bit on our, as a highlight? Let's do it. Let's just... I've already powdered my face, so this might go badly wrong. Oh, 
oh wow, actually that looks really cool. Um, and it hasn't messed up too bad considering I've powdered my face already. So that's pretty cool. I'll have to do the other side now as well. Um, so yeah, I think they were £12, so it'll be really interesting to sort of use that with my summer makeup. Because as the summer comes along, um, I will be putting less and less makeup on and more and more just gentle makeup. Uh, I, I reckon that will give like a really nice dewy sort of look. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to using those a bit more, trying those out. Um, while I was in there, I also asked very kindly for a skin consultation with the makeup, um, and I was given some tester pots of the matte clay foundation because I wasn't sure what um, shade would be my shade range. Uh, these are very all very different. So this one is. This one is more pinky toned, this one is more yellowy toned, and this one's sort of in the middle. Um, when I went to the store, it was night time. It was between 7 o'clock in the evening and 9 o'clock in the evening, so there was no natural sunlight. It was all sort of LED spotlights in there, so trying to test my skin against, you know, their foundations in there was impossible. So she very kindly gave me these shades. I've got to try number 21, and number 14, and number 26. So I'm very intrigued to find out what my shade is because she advised me that the matte clay foundation would be really good for oily skin. Um, so, and that's what I've got. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just gonna have a tea break. Mmm, so good. And because it was an event, and because I spent so much money, um, I was gifted with some free bees. Yay! I got the White Musk uh, Shower Gel, which smells amazing. This isn't something that I'd usually go for, because I'm more of like a fruity kind of person when it comes to, so like hence the blueberry and the honey and the sort of things that you can eat sort of smell rather than like a showery kind of smell but then they, I also got this white musk fragrance perfume a, a fragrance mist sorry um, and there's so much in this there's a hundred mil in here so that's gonna last me a lifetime um, but I thought that was very generous of them and we also got given because it was a VIP event this little bag of goodies as well so I'll get out what's in here there is a almond milk and honey hand cream for dry sensitive hands there is a little sample sized version of the Drops of Youth and these are like my favourite thing anyway so to get more of this is really cool. I then got two sample sized masks. There's the 3-in-1 Wash, Scrub and Mask with Tea Tree and then there's also the Fresh Plumping Mask with British Rose. Now this is the one that I was considering buying instead of the a Akai, Acai, um, or however you want to pronounce it, instead of the jam one, um, I was going to get the British Rose one, but I changed my mind. So I thought I'd try this out first, and then if I really like it, I can go back and get it. But that is basically my curtain tightening. I pinned the neck curtain up so that I can put my camera on the windowsill so that I've got enough sunlight, and yeah. It just attacked me. Anyway, that is what I got at the Body Shop event. Um, I'm looking forward to more of these body yogurts coming out. They also had a body misc, mist, a face mist. Um, so like a spray. It was a spray basically that you put on your face and it hydrates your face but it doesn't affect your makeup. They had it in coconut, mandarin, uh, strawberry and rose again yeah so they had four fragrances but I sprayed some on my hand and it kind of made my hand sting a little bit so I think that might be on the the, the harsher side for sensitive skin because sometimes things just don't work for me um, but that was about £6.50 retailed I think so if you don't have sensitive skin or you know you want to try it yourself definitely give it a try and um, you might 
you might like it, you never know. Um, other than that, I got a hand massage when I was there and we also got to chat a little bit with some of the staff about some of the other products that they've got. So it was a really informative evening, it was really good fun and I really hope I get invited to another one soon because I love any excuse to buy stuff from the body shop. But that's pretty much everything I've got to show you so I am going to go have some lunch um, and then edit this video to upload it. So I hope you like this video, I hope you know, you're all well and etc etc. If you did like this video then please hit that like button, give us a thumbs up and all that jazz, let me know if you liked it. If you want to comment on something, do so. But make sure that you do subscribe because I will be uploading more regularly and I've got some exciting things happening in my life soon so hopefully I'll be able to vlog those or at least video some of it. Um, until next time, goodbye.